Hello and welcome. What we're going to be looking at today within Members Village is how to generate a transaction as an administrator on behalf of a member. So what you'll want to do is head over to the transaction section and then the very top left, you'll want to click on add transaction. Now, the process that I'll be showing you today, you can apply to a single member or you can apply to a group of members. Keep in mind, even if you generate transactions for a group of members, each one of those members will receive their own transaction. So it's not going to be a shared transaction, for example. So what I'll do here is I'll just start searching our database for accounts that I want to generate the transaction for, and I'll pick apps and I'll pick Bob. And you can go through this process one by one, adding in these people into a group. And what will happen is that each, again, each person will receive their own transaction. So we'll leave it here, we'll leave it for apps, and we'll go ahead and remove Bobby because I just wanna focus on a single transaction today. The next thing you'll wanna do within your transaction, actually search your catalog to find an item to add to the transaction. So for our purposes today, I'm going to go ahead and add a full membership. And what you'll also have the opportunity to do as an administrator is play around with the pricing schema on the fly. So for example, this full membership is at a rate of 525. You as the administrator can actually modify this. And let's say you wanna set it to 75%, not a problem. This, you can adjust that on the fly and you can go ahead and then select add, which will add the line item. And here you can see that the rate has been reduced to 393.75. And here are the rates that are being applied here. Now, because this is our development server, we've got a whole bunch of taxes that don't really make sense. But keep in mind that any rates, surcharges, or discounts will apply here as well. And it is something you can control as the administrator as you need to. The next thing you might want to do, and I say might because if it's an optional item, is add any purchase forms to the transaction as well. So this would be a form that the member would have to complete once they're paying you or paying for that uh, transaction. So in this case, I'm charging somebody for a membership. I may want to go ahead and select a mem the membership form for them to complete. So I'm just simply going to select it, click add, and now the membership form is associated to the transaction. So the member would have to complete it and they would be reminded by email to complete it if they have not. The next thing you'll want to put in is a description. And in here, because I've created a membership uh, transaction, I'm just going to label this as 2022 membership. The standard terms are what is available within the system by default. You can change these on the fly if you wish, or you can just leave them as they are. And the last thing you can set here as an administrator is the email template. Leaving this blank will generate the transaction. It'll show it in your dashboard and it will show it in a member's dashboard when they log in the next time. But there's no email that will go out. Selecting an email template will also have Members Village send out the notice to the member by email as soon as you finalize things. So what I'm going to do is I do actually want an invo a, uh, email to be sent and I'm just gonna choose the payment required uh, email template here. That way, because I don't have their credit card information and I don't have a check from them, I'm going to let them know that you know payment is still required on this transaction. And here I can click on review and I'll then be brought to the screen which allows me to view uh, this transaction before I finalize it. So here you get a little bit of administrative details, including the description, which forms, who it's going to, etc., along with a little bit of a, an intro in the email. So you may notice these placeholders, they will be filled out when the email is actually going out, but for our preview purposes, it's just the placeholder names that are showing up here. And then you can actually preview the entire invoice. And I say invoice because there's no payment here. So this is outstanding. You can see here who it's going to, the line items, the taxes, any surcharges, discounts, etc. that could show up here, the amount due and your standard terms and conditions. Now, what you'll have the ability to do as an administrator is either finalize the transaction or finalize it and process the credit card payment. So let's say you have the member on the phone and they're willing to give you the credit card number. You could finalize it and then process the credit card payment and then the, the transaction would be settled and the member, you know, upon logging into their account next time would see a receipt. However, I'm going to choose the finalized transaction option which will then create it, but we can see here that this transaction has not been settled, meaning it's still outstanding for payment. And if we preview it, if we click on view here, 
we'll see one that the form that I attached it to is still uh, outstanding for completion. So this is something that the member would be able to complete. And I can see here the invoice. So just like I see the pay now option, if the member is looking at this invoice, they would also have that pay now option. They would be able to pay by credit card themselves online or send you a check or whatever other means of payment that they're going to be providing. And that is our video, our tutorial on how to create a transaction as an administrator. Thanks for watching.